back up. More tornadoes touched down in May than in any other month. This May in the U.S., tornadoes were reported on 28 days out of the month. Alongside the tornadoes was gorgeous lightning, torrential flooding, and powerful straight-line winds, all cast out of megastorms on a daily basis. If you live anywhere near Tornado Alley, you pay extra attention to the weather in May. If you're a storm chaser, you chase. In 2015, I witnessed 20 tornadoes in May. This documentary features those tornadoes as well as behind the scenes peaks of what it's like for a chaser living on the road during this maelstrom of the month. Ride shotgun with me as I attempt to photo document all the May madness. Being a great photographer isn't as much about your camera and all of its settings and knowing how to work it. It's more about being in the right place at the right time. And right now I'm really jealous because some guy actually got a photograph of Jesus. Check out this billboard right here. Next to the truck stop repair. I really need to up my game. May 6th began with multiple funnel clouds slithering in the sky, and I was able to confirm five tornadoes. The main event was a 1.3 mile wide monster EF3 heading towards Oklahoma City Metro. Just prior to entering the heavily populated area, the large tornado suddenly vanished. But several other smaller tornadoes would touch down, some in Oklahoma City. Back up. In all, 65 tornadoes were reported throughout the alley on May 6th. Astonishingly, there were no fatalities. It's a multi-vortex tornado, and it looks like this is going to happen all over again tomorrow. Guys, I might have seen my 100th tornado last night. I'll have to go back and look at all the footage. Yesterday was nuttier than squirrel shit, and it looks like the next three to four days are going to be crazy, if not crazier. Yes? I was pooping. Uh, I'll be out in a second. Time is up. Oh, the time is up? All right, I'll be out of here in, in, in five minutes. Okay. Thank you. I got to get out of here. Look at that. That's a funnel cloud. That. Oh, tornado warning. At 7 p.m., a massive supercell was bringing night early while stirring up a large tornado. Creepy ass rope in there. Oh man, glimpses of it through the trees. There it is. Possible satellites orbiting around it on the outside. Multi vortex tornado on the inside. Underneath a gorgeous mesocyclone, a 0.6 mile wide tornado tracked 13 miles through rural Denton County. The tornado had the girth of a wedge tornado, but with only EF1 tornado force winds. It's ramping up again. Occasional suction vortices of more concentrated power danced up and down inside the merry-go-round. Very minimal damage and zero injuries were reported with this awesome spectacle. A storm chaser's ingredients for celebration. Mind the shot, mind the frame. Get out of here. All right, gang, got another tornado today. I'm trying to upload the footage to show you guys, but the storm knocked out the internet. Since we did so great the last couple days, we're gonna celebrate with tuna out of the can and ram rambutan in syrup. I don't even know what rambutan is. It tastes like fruit. That's awesome. I don't like pears. I wonder how they taste in my tuna fish. They look like, uh, kind of like little uh, testicles. And they even put two of them on the can inside some furry red thing, whatever. Tastes good. I'll try to talk to you guys more often. But I got things to do. Here's the plan for today. I'm thinking Seymour, Texas, maybe. Uh, it's gonna get messy out there, but wherever the atmosphere can clean up, there could be some big tornadoes again. We're still good. That's it, cut. Hey guys, gotta make this fast. I wanted to show you a little treat we just found. This is a Great Plains rat snake. It's basically the desert, put it apart. It's the desert version of a corn snake. There's a storm coming. 
Ready to go? You're gonna bite me in the eyes, aren't you? Let's go. A large HP supercell was wrapping into a fat hook echo just prior to clobbering a convergence of storm chasers in its path. Just as the chasers were scampering away, a SLC lowered right where a tornado should be. Good SLCs are often mistakenly reported as tornadoes. So what do you think? Is this a SLC or an actual tornado? are over with and your adrenaline comes down to levels that are small. I'm too exhausted to keep driving so we're just gonna pull over on the side of the road and rough it in Motel Toyota. You know the last time I roughed it like this I imagined looking out the window and seeing two Native Americans trying to start a fire with some rocks so that they could cook the lizard that they caught earlier and have a little snack before they lay down on the rocks. <laughs> See y'all in the morning. All right, that saved us about 60 or 70 bucks. Man, I was out like a, like a person that was out. Let's uh, track down some coffee and see what uh, today's looking like. Dang, there's a tornado in there. I can see it on the ground, but I'm so far away from it. I'm on a terrible road right now. I'm on clay right now. So I'm gonna keep going until I just get stuck. This late Kansas storm would drop tornadoes left and right for several hours from at least two different mesocyclones in what Dick McGowan called a tornado palooza. Unfortunately, the event occurred after dark with very little glimpse revealing lightning. There's another tornado over here. They're everywhere. This is unreal. Need a plan. Bad. This could flash. There's two tornadoes side by side. Your stuff's probably more up to date than mine. Show me where you're at on your All right, let me show you what's going on. Due west of us right now, right, and it's right. heading north, okay. just passing west of Selden. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right, Here take on. care. Yep. Appreciate All right, she's coming to us. The tornado is heading due north, and it's going to cross Highway 36. So we're going to put ourselves pretty close to it and try to catch the sucker crossing the road. So here we go. It's about to be crazy time. All right, it should have passed the road now. Oh, there it is. Really close, right here. You'll have to excuse me, I took my shirt off because I had to crawl under the TIT and hook it up. I got mud everywhere. I was driving down the road, it's a gravel road, and just all of a sudden the gravel stopped. Oh, whoa, 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 we're going sideways, going sideways, drifting, drifting. And I started sliding everywhere like a dumbass. Drifting, we're on the, oh, the road is gone. That's it. Well, I almost got all the way out. Go, baby, go, baby, go. I only had this far to go, and I'd have been back on the gravel, and I got stuck. Luckily, it's right in front of this dude's house, and he's a totally cool guy. Came and bailed my ass out. There were tornadoes everywhere, and it was night, and it was flashing, and there was mud, and insects, and locusts, and plagues, and toads. There's toads all on the road, guys. I mean, there's there's toads everywhere. Storm chasing is crazy. We got us a little souvenir from Kansas. $210 for going 45 and a 35. Another day of multiple tornadoes. The first of the three tornadoes I witnessed would tear the roof off a school with 100 people sheltering inside. Again, no injuries or fatalities were reported with these tornadoes. Cross the road right here. RFD. Ripping through there, it looks like it could drop. While chasing tornadoes, it behooves one to stay calm and focused and resist the urge I pinned as twist Tourette's syndrome. 
Twist Tourette Syndrome is the common uncontrolled urge to scream and shout the obvious whenever a tornado is on the ground. The guy next door was snoring so loud all night last night I almost went and banged on the wall to shut him up. Anyway, I'm glad I didn't because this morning I discovered it's this refrigerator gurgling. Listen. It's not so annoying once you realize it is just the old refrigerator gurgling. The last five days have been non-stop Supercell chasing all day. And four out of the five days I've bagged tornadoes. I got a few days off and I can't wait to go back and watch the footage and see what I got somewhere on my hard drive is my 100th tornado. Man, I hope it's a good one. I hope it's one of the close ones and not one of the tiny, saggy, nipple things miles away. Yeah, there's nothing exciting about a, a tiny, saggy nipple miles away. Uh, I'll be out in 10 minutes. Well guys, the touchdowns have been tallied and here's my official 100th tornado shot back on May 6th near Oklahoma City. A tiny, saggy nipple miles away. And to celebrate, I'm going to go have a bowl of cornflakes. Thanks for watching friends. Until next time, happy trails. <laughs>